How's it going? Just in the hoop house here and I thought I'd show you a bit of a problem we're having with our strawberries. We've got some grey mould or Botrytis scenario I think it's called. It's attacking our strawberries. As you can see we've got a fair few that are infected there. What happens is the spores of the fungus actually lodge themselves in the flower heads when they're about that size there. We'll just zoom in when they're about that size there. And as the fruit develops or forms it slowly turns in. This one here is partially infected just under the top there of where the flower petals were and slowly it takes over the strawberry. There's another one in the next stage until it takes over your entire strawberry. The reason I think it's happening is because there's just basically not enough airflow around these guys. There's also a bit of an infection and once the infection starts the spores spread infect other flowers and it's just a cycle that continues on and on. I think our wet winter this year is also hasn't helped in matters much. So what I can do to fix this is, I can't pretty much well raise the soil level in here. It's actually sunk about um, 10 centimeters or four inches below the top lip of this barrel here. But what I can do is thin out the leaves so, so we can get some more airflow through the barrel. Also got some garlic in there as well that's doing rather well. And what that'll hopefully do is make it dr the barrel dry out a little bit more. When you have moist conditions in there, they're the prime conditions for the spores to turn into this fungus or this mold. So the idea is to thin it out so you get good airflow, so things dry out nicely. Another thing to do and to keep in mind is not to water at night time, water in the morning. Generally when I come down and water the patch, I do it in the afternoon. I'll have to remember to leave these guys alone and just water them in the morning from now on. Trimming back the foliage is an obvious one, thin it all out and let it get the air in as I said before. But you can also use fungicides. The two fungicides I like to use are potassium bicarbonate, which comes under a few different product names here in Australia, Eco Rose being one. I think Eco Fungicides another, same company. And the other one is the good old bicarbonate of soda or baking soda. With the baking soda it's one teaspoon of baking soda into a quart or a litre of water few drops of nice pure liquid soap in there as well spray that on and that should knock any um, any of the spores on the head what that does is because it's alkaline it'll actually raise the pH and kill the spores that way just so you know how it works potassium bicarbonate does exactly the same thing um, I actually use the potassium bicarbonate in the aquaponics to raise the pH and also to add potassium to the system so I've been leaving these guys on here just so I'd have something to show you you can see a couple of the infected leaves as well. The other barrel we have on the other side of the lime tree, just over there. Um, the strawberries on there are doing fine, as are the ones on the aquaponics and in the little tray underneath the aquaponics. It just happens to be this barrel here. But anyway, I'm just going to get to this and I'm going to give him a bit, a bit of a trim. And we'll come back and we'll see what he looks like. Just to show you the sort of things I'm pulling out, we've got this caped gooseberry plant here. Definitely doesn't need to be involved in this barrel. We've got a few other little ferals in here as well, like tomatoes, and I think this one here is a tomatillo, just a small little seedling. But these larger plant uh, leaves, sorry, that have obviously had a bit of damage done to them, I'm just going down as close as I can to the base and taking them out and trying not to shake them all over the top, just in case they've got a few mold spores on them. Just basically trying to thin out the larger ones. Also in the barrel itself, I have found one or two strawberries that are infected as well. Here's a good example. There's one strawberry here. Oh, you don't want to move him around too much. He's just laying right in the middle of the barrel where there's not a lot of airflow. And look at that, he's a green one and the mold's already taken over. So, so there we go. We've had a massive thinning. There's still some fruit on down the bottom there. I'm going to spray them with some of the potassium bicarbonate mix I'm going to make up and we'll just see if we can save them. Bit of an experiment. But otherwise, uh, the barrel itself should have a lot bit of air flow through it now. Uh, the leaves, a lot of the leaves are gone, and as you can see by the flowers, there's still a mass of fruit yet to come. It will also be getting a compost tea or a worm casting tea added to it just as a fertilizer, probably in the next two or three days. So that hopefully will give them a bit of a kick start as well. So I'll just show you this mixture and how I'm going to make it up. So what I have here to get the spray ready is my funky little mister which screws straight on top of a, just a normal bottle, drink bottle that you can buy at the shops. I've got a litre or a quart of water in there. I have my potassium bicarbonate. This brand here is Eco Rose, but there are other brands on the market. 
just one teaspoon measure of that into a litre of water or a quart of water. So it's as easy as getting my little measurer, tipping it over. I might actually just mix it using the normal lid, get it all dissolved in the bottle. So I've mixed that through and it's nice and dissolved now. What I'm also going to add and what a lot of people recommend is adding some liquid soap. Um, I could add some liquid soap, I've got some up the house, but I'll be adding some horticultural soap. This is a potassium soap gel, double concentrate. It's a neem based one, put out by um, a company over here in Australia. So I'll just be adding around about 5 mils of that. I suppose it's the equivalent of about a squirt of pure liquid soap into a litre or a quart of water. So this one's going to be fun because it's a bit of a gel. Ah, it's a bit goopy. There we go, that'll be about five mils once it all goes in there. So that's pretty much all nice and dissolved in there now. Now I've just got to put the spray head on and we can get to applying it to the barrel. So I'm just going to give these strawberries down here a bit of a spray. And just then all these flowers and leaves as well, we'll get a good dose. Just lift these strawberries up and make sure we coat all of them. Same with these ones here. These ones over here as well. Do you want to push the handle for me please? Thank you Coop. Just making sure we're getting underneath on all sides of them. Cool. Thank you. So there you go, it's pretty much all as easy as that. So there you go, there's a bit of a look at treating the grey mould on our strawberries. The bits and pieces that I've chopped off, uh, the leaves and the, the infected strawberries, they're just going to be going out straight into our bin. I don't want to compost them and spread them through the garden, the little spores of the mould. I'd rather just get rid of them. The chickens are going to be a little bit upset with me actually. Um, what I'm going to be doing after that is washing my hands, washing down the sprayer and going around the other strawberries in the patch. I can use this in the aquaponics, it should be fine to use and treat the strawberries in there. Also the other barrel we have on the other side of the hoop house there and the strawberries underneath the aquaponics. Just so if any spores have spread around, I'm sure they would have, uh, just to try and keep them under control. Definitely don't want to lose the other strawberries, they've been producing really well. So I'll pretty much will leave it at that I suppose. Any comments, questions, suggestions, just drop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you. Other than that, I have a Kira behind me. Catch ya!